More bodies are expected to be retrieved from the Irland Shaft gold mine in Balcombe. 13 more bodies were recovered yesterday, bringing the number of fatalities to 25. Police have 11 people arrested so far in connection with the tragedy, and this follows the explosion at the Vitbank operation. The bodies have not yet been identified, and police suspect they are illegal miners. It is not yet clear what triggered Thursday's blast. Mine owner Harmony Gold says it's saddened by the deaths. SAPS has also not as yet been able to locate the potential families of those found with the name tags on their bodies. The miners aged between 30 and 35 were believed to be from Zimbabwe, Mozambique and Lesotho. The number is still 25 and uh, we are expecting to recover more today. And uh, those uh, that came out alive, it is still uh, 11 and um, the mission still continues. We are assisted uh, by the mine rescue services together with uh, Harmony uh, Security. Uh, they are the ones uh, that are retrieving the bodies uh, from underground and not the police. The blast has been caused by an unknown explosive at uh, a disused uh, mine that was rehabilitated by Harmony. And um, we suspect that it is it, uh, illegal miners uh, that uh, blasted that uh, mine hole. It continues to be under investigation um, on what actually happened underground which caused the explosion. But the family members have been advised to go to uh, the uh, SAPS, uh, the South African Police Service uh, offices, where there is a forensic pathology service there. Obviously, in regards to identifying the bodies, we also know that a medical team has come out with the rescue team. Here at the mine behind me is uh, the Elan's mine shaft which uh, is where the bodies are being retrieved being underground and with the management of the mine they have made a deal with the other uh, zamazamas underground to obviously bring the bodies to uh, the surface